Hi there everyone and welcome back to another lesson. In this video, we'll be learning how we can use the if error function in Excel in order to write down a particular word or phrase for any sort of error that comes by in your tables of data. In this case, I have these sample names with product prices, number of sales, and the revenue generated written. Here, I have placed in the problem of typing accidentally a few alphabets instead of a particular value number for price for the hand cream. As a result of which, my revenue generated column is showing error for value in that cell. If I press on any cell, particularly under the column of revenue generated, you're going to see that there is a formula being used for multiplying E column with the T column values in order to find the revenue generated. Here, this particular formula is not applicable because number of sales is multiplying with some alphabets, not the numbers. So wherever you find such an error, how do you really fix it every time? Or how does it prompt up to show your boss or to show you that there is an error right here? We need to fix that. Now, in order to code this particular error for some statement, maybe like call admin alert, which would actually promptly tell you that there is a problem, I need to resolve it. For that, we're going to go to the formula bar. Here between the equal sign and the bracket, I am going to type the if error function, followed by the value, then a comma. And now here in the punctuation marks, I'm going to write a particular statement, phrase, or any word which gives me an alert or shows me promptly where the problem is. So in this case, inside the speech marks, I write alert with three exclamation marks to show the intensity of the problem. Remember, you have to put these speech marks. If you don't, the whole function is going to be invalid. Here you're going to see that as soon as I pressed enter, we have this alert thing here instead of the value error or the div error that usually comes by whenever there is issue with the functions. So this is how you can use the if error function in Excel in order to code for a particular phrase or word, which can help the admin, which can help your coworkers identify the problem and fix it instantly as soon as they look at the file. Thank you very much. See you in the next lesson. Take care. Goodbye. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.